All right, welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us. Now, Fatima Mia was one of the leading voices of the anti-apartheid movement born in Durban on the 12th of August 1928. Mia was a, a courageous and selfless um, activist who survived assassination attempts threats that were made at her family and being detained in solidarity confinement with other women such as Winnie Mandela at the women's jail in the 1970s. To honor her work and life, the Constitution Hill will today launch the Prison Diaries, which is an exhibition of paintings and sketches by the late Fatima Mia. But to tell us more about the exhibition, we joined in our studios in Johannesburg by Khaisang Satehe. She is the Exhibition and Events Coordinator at Constitution Hill. Good morning to you and um, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning and thank you for inviting me over. To thank see. you so much indeed. I mean, uh, many South Africans know Fatima Mia as a struggle activist whose life, of course, touched many people. Yes. But there is a side of her that yes. not many of us know, that yes. of art. Yes, certainly. So Fatima Mia, as a political activist, uh, was arrested uh, in 1976 together with other women who were uh, part of the liberation struggle uh, during the apartheid era. And she was then uh, brought to Constitution Hill where she was detained. And during her incarceration um, at the women's prison, she actually uh, captured these amazing scenes, private moments mm -hmm. and daily experiences of what it was like to be in, in prison as a woman. So um, she managed to create a whole series of paintings and sketches uh, from stationery that was smuggled into the prison yeah. by her family members uh, when they came for visits. Um, so, you know, from just uh, recycling old paper, yeah. creating paintings from uh, old maps or, or old calendars yeah. and using cokey pens and a bit of paint and, and paints, whatever mm -hmm. she had. And those paintings and sketches were done in secret? Yes, so they were done secretly in prison, uh, but she was almost caught okay. by one of the wardresses, and then she was reported, and she then said, but you know that is impossible. How could I possibly um, have access to, to, to painting mm. and leisure time in a prison? That is just ridiculous. Uh, you know that if I have a pen or pencil, the only things I would actually draw up, flowers and yeah. scenery and stuff. So she would just get time uh, in her own private moments and capture these amazing scenes from the prison. All right, so the mm. scenes, in they reflected what happened in prison then? Yes, yeah, so the paintings actually begin to tell a story, mm. the uncaptured or unrecorded story about uh, Constitution Hill, specifically about the women's jail. So these are scenes uh, that we have never seen before, that have never been documented. Mm -hmm. And I would say that the only visual record that we have of the women's jail are these uh, paintings that were created by Fatima Mia. So those are some of the paintings that we have on the screen. Yes, so uh, those are some of the paintings. So in total, she created 21 paintings. And mm -hmm. they were then later smuggled out by Winnie Mandela, who, who assisted her to get the paintings out there into the public, into the world, so that people, the country, the nation could actually see these brutal atrocities and pain and yeah. humiliation that women had to go through. I mean, uh, babies were born in the prison, women were pregnant in the prison, mm -hmm. women didn't have basic, the basic, uh, you know, sanitary, sanitary towels. towels that they even would need, undies. even underwear. They yes. didn't have underwear. Yeah. Um, you, they would just get one pair of underwear that they would have to wear the whole week, mm. even share, you know, if maybe one of uh, the other women inmates was going through her cycle and she didn't have underwear, they would actually exchange, they would actually use and share things like underwear. Um, the sanitary towels were not what yeah. we know, you know, it was just a piece of cloth that was given to them. So those were horrible conditions that the women yeah. lived in. And um, she managed to capture some of the struggles and the pain of the women uh, who were detained there. But the stories, even some that you're sharing with us this morning, are they being told sufficiently so? We, mm. we had a broadcast a few weeks ago at Constitution Hill, even last week Leanne was there as well. And there's so much history, mm -hmm. there's so much to talk about um, the struggle veterans who mm. were incarcerated in that, in that jail. Yes. But it looks like not so much is being said about the place. So I think there's a lot uh, that um, is covered. A lot of the stories uh, that are covered are mostly about the icons, the prominent 
uh, women, the prominent political pr prisoners like Barbara Hogan, Fatima Mia, mm. Winnie Mandela. But I, I do feel that there is still so much more that we can do um, in terms of collecting stories of the ordinary, ordinary women, people. the unsung heroes. Like there's, for example, there's a woman that we met, I think her name is Panessa as well. Yes. Yeah, yes, she was definitely. there. She, she's, she has a story to tell yes. as well. So I think you're right. But let's uh, go back to the exhibition. It mm. launches officially tonight. Yes. So the exhibition uh, launches this evening. And it will be open to the public uh, from tomorrow. But even tonight, if you, you know, would love to join us mm -hmm. at the launch event, uh, you are most welcome to do so. And this is um, a permanent exhibition. So what that means really is that it will form part of the permanent exhibits of the museum. So it will contribute to the heritage aspect of the museum. Oh, okay. So it's not an, a temporary exhibition which will open tonight and maybe close at the end of the month. So yeah. it will be a permanent um, record of the prison that people can come and view at any, at time. any time. But I think what's going to be more interesting is uh, the keynote address by her daughter. Yes. She's going to be sharing her um, lifetime stories. Yes, certainly. So Shamim Amir will actually be sharing some of the stories that her mom uh, captured in her diary when she was in prison. Yeah. Um, so the book is called Prison Diary. Diaries. Mm. So that's uh, where the inspiration comes from that, uh, for the title of the exhibition itself. So Shamim will be sharing some of the personal stories and experiences and moments that her mother captured uh, in her diary during her incarceration. All right. No, it sounds interesting. Hai Sang, we'll leave it at that for now, but thank you so much for coming through. Thank you. Thank you very That's much indeed. Uh, Khaisang Sateche is uh, the exhibition and event uh, coordinator from Constitution Hill talking to us about uh, the official launch of Fatima Mir exhibition which will take place tonight at Constitution Hill.